Hi, Coach. Welcome to HSBA Media Day. It's good to see you. Good morning. Can you please introduce yourself and your and your players that you have here today, and then give us an overview of the program this year from Westminster Academy? Yes, my name is Ernie Gonzalez. I'm entering my fourth year at Westminster Academy. I'm the head baseball coach. I'm also a teacher in the school. Uh, Westminster's very, very rich tradition in baseball in, in South Florida in our community. When it's a blessing for me and my family to be able to go to school there every day. Uh, athletics is the heartbeat of the school. We have a great basketball team, baseball, football, our women's sports, you name it. So. Our school expects excellence from our baseball program and our team, and, and that's what I expect from our team every year. And we want to win district championships, but the ultimate goal is to win the state championship. So that's what we're aiming for this year. Uh, second straight district title uh, last season. I think you guys kind of won it since 2005. Before that, uh, just what does that you know, all of you fans? What does that mean to the to the school? Well, I got the job at at WA. Uh, right before COVID hit, so our season was canceled in my first year. And the second year, we made we made some improvements. We, had, we battled a couple injuries on the mound, and then last year we made some big jumps. You know, we had a good, a lot of one-run games that our pitching staff and our defense and timely hitting carried us through. And I'm expecting us to improve on that this year. And I challenge our boys. I challenge all our guys to every day in practice. You know, and I. We have a tough schedule, especially at the beginning of the year, and I think that's what it's all about, to challenge these boys and these players to get the best out of them and see if they're going to end up becoming great baseball players and continuing on to play at the next level in college or professionally. So I love the challenge of going going down to Miami, to Palm Beach. We're going down to Key West this year to play two night games in Key West. So I love playing good teams. I, I think we'll get more out of playing really, really good teams in the long run and the way that Max Preps and all the ranking system has it set up where, you know, if we lose a game to a really good team and we battle, it might be better than playing, you know, a, a team that's that, that we can probably handle if, if we do our job on the mound and defensively. You're returning a lot of players this year, right? I mean, how many did you lose? Well, our school is a small school. Westminster Academy is a small high school. We've got a lot of kids in the lower school growing up, but we, we, we lose some kids, but we, all, we also gained a couple um, good families, good kids, and I think we have a good balance of a – a couple good seniors, a couple good juniors, a couple good sophomores. Our sophomore class is very good, our 2025 class, and then a couple good freshmen. So we all contribute. We all pitch in. A lot of two-way guys, a lot of a lot of uh, pitchers that play positions. So I, we have to make sure we take care of them in practice and not overdo it in practice and then play so much because we got to take care of our arms. Some college commitments on the team too, right? Yes. Right here to my right in front of you is Robert Nedry. He's a, he's a senior. He's committed to NC State. He's a... He's a day one guy at Westminster Academy. Um, he's on his way out. He's been at Westminster since he was in pre-K or kindergarten. Um, everybody knows him in our community. And he's a big time player. He steps up. He played. He's our shortstop, but he can play every position on the field. And and I'm expecting him to have another great year to add to his high school career. And to my left is Mike, Michael Cespedes, one of our leaders. He's the epitome of of our baseball program. He works so hard. He's gotten better every single year. And this is his time to shine now as a senior and lead our team, working along with Rob here and, and the rest of everybody. You know, I demand, you know, just because they're the captains doesn't mean that a sophomore on the team is, is one of our leaders, or a junior as well. So I expect them to lead our team, lead our clubhouse, you know, stay even keel, you know, stay, don't get too low on the lows and don't get too high on the highs because baseball, you, you got to take it pitch by pitch, game by game. With saying that, uh, from the player's perspective, how are you encouraging these younger players and to come together as a team for your, you know, make or break to talk about that um, Well, I mean, I think it's it's not that hard for them to, to get, for us to get them to buy in because, I mean, for us, like, we've been through it all four years. We've been through all the ups and downs, and we've seen the improvement over, uh, like, year after year, and I think this year we're at a point that we've never been in past years and the season hasn't even started yet. And I think, especially from like a talent perspective. So when we have that mindset and we can, we tell them like, we have the talent to do something here, do something that we'll never forget. It really, it encourages them and makes them excited for the rest of the year. And we really have those ultimate aspirations of a state championship. And I really think we can get it done this year. Uh, I agree with Michael over there. I think it's really easy to, you know, 
ease into our team because we're really welcoming and we all we all love the new kids and and we welcome them pretty easily and we're not a hard group to get a, to not get along with everyone loves each other we all hang out all the time so I don't think it was a problem the new kids coming in and like he said we all gelled really fast and I think we're ready Rob, I, you know, just as a senior captain, you know, coach talked to you, talked to you, you're a lifelong uh, WA guy, you know, I mean, you guys have won the past two years, good. Is, is there pressure on, on you specifically to, to kind of lead the team this year? And I mean, to... there's pressure on everyone, but I, I don't feel that much pressure. I know I, know I have a good group of guys around me, uh, and this year, hopefully, we go past districts and we can go on to regionals and then hopefully win states and start a legacy for WA of winning state championships. Is there a specific game you guys are looking forward to this year? Uh, just a rivalry game, matchup, anything like that? Um, I mean, the last two years in regionals, we've lost to Miami Christian. Um, that's another thing, like you said, with back-to-back -back district champions, like, that, that's awesome. Like, obviously, we haven't done it in a while, but that's not, like, we, we kind of expect that of ourselves. Like, we have such high expectations. We know the team we are especially when we play against good teams. And Miami Christian gives us a challenge every single year. So we're definitely looking forward to getting revenge this year. The bar has been raised for this program. 100%. Let's talk a little bit about the pressure of playing college ball. Is that because, as you said, you're going to NC State. Can you talk a little bit about how, how you work that with your schoolwork, being on the high school field, now to go to college? Can you talk a little bit about that? Because I know a lot of these younger kids are interested to see what you have to say about that because you're going through the process right now mm -hmm. and have been for many years. So. Uh, I think high school is definitely a bit easier than once you get to college. It's it's definitely a big change, but you know, my senior year, it's been a lot easier than the past high school years, so I can I kind of balance baseball a lot better than school, and then once I get to college, it's supposed to be baseball first and then school, so you know, it's, it's going to be hard keeping up with everything and, and staying in shape and healthy, but it's a challenge, and if, if you love the game, I think it's it's worth the challenge. And was it real hard trying to choose what, what school you wanted to go to? Talk it was. It, it was a stressful process, but you just have to, you have to trust the process, go through with it, follow your heart, listen to your parents, and uh, but yeah, man, it was a, a stressful process. It took a while, went through a lot of stuff, but at the end, I found the school that I really wanted to go to. Coach, your entire staff is returning this year? Yes, I have, in my opinion, one of the best coaching staffs, you know, in South Florida. You know, my, our pitching coach, Mark Klein, he's been coaching for like, I don't know, 50 years um, in the community. He's, he's awesome with the kids. He's an old school pitching guru. Uh, we have my other assistant coach, uh, Joel Pelland. He moved down here with his family from Chicago two years ago. He has... He has a big young family and he wanted to get out of the Midwest and the freezing weather. So he's another assistant coach and he's really good. And then uh, my my bench coach and another assistant, Cesar Temes, he's been coaching down here in Miami and uh, and all over South Florida for the last like 20 years. And, and we've been together. So, you know, we're all we're all head coaches and they know that just because I'm the head coach of the team doesn't mean that they don't have any say on our team. We, you know, the, just the other day they came to, to talk to me after practice about some things that we that the players and, and their group wanted to improve on and, and get better. And, and I think we did that yesterday. We had a great practice in inner squad yesterday, and we're going to keep building and, and getting better. And what about coming out here for HSBN Media Days? You've been participating for years and glad to see you every year. Why is it important for your team out here? It's important because, you know, all these kids and, and, and the parents and the way that social media works nowadays and, and, and our society is to, to just expose them you know, and get our names out there. It's good. Every time they're wearing something WA, something Westminster Academy with our lines, you know, jerseys, I, I think it's important to get our name out there so people know us. Yeah, I've been, I'm not that old, but I've been coaching for a while after I finished playing high school and a lot in Miami. So I know, you know, you, you, you previously mentioned some big games. We do have some big games right off the bat. Like I said, half at the first half of our season, we're going down to Key West. We play Columbus later in March. Uh, we play St. Thomas Aquinas. We play Heritage Del Rey, so I'm looking forward to these games, and, and, and that's what they want, you know. Our players want to play good games. You know, they want to play against the best to become the best, and that's something that, you know, I'm always ready for the challenge. And you said something, too, about pressure. You know, I think I think we work so hard as a, as a unit, as a coaching staff, as a team in practice, and off the field as well, that 
those who feel pressured are not prepared. Like if we're prepared for the moment, then then it'll come easy to us, you know. And my job, because of our tough schedule, is there's going to be some downs. Is me and the coaching staff to keep these guys, you know, focused on the task at hand. And baseball's, as we all know, is a dysfunctional sport, and you're going to fail a lot. So we just need to stay strong up here. And uh, and and the sky's the limit for our young team, you know. And our young team with with the pieces that I said, with seniors, juniors, and sophomores, and a couple good freshmen. Thank you. Thank you.